Greetings and welcome back to Pocket Ants. Well, we are currently a week into the Halloween event and we do have more than a week to go on this. So we do have more opportunities to summon the new special creature, the Halloween Pennant. You can see my activity bar at the moment. I have 700 on that. So it's going to be a little over two hours before I can wipe out the red ants again, which I do intend to do. It's good for gems, if nothing else. It's definitely restoring my gem collection over here. And then all I have to do is wait for the new day and then have uh, four acorns should do it and I could do another summon. I currently do have another one star, so I figure that's going to give me a two star. Now, in addition to that, I do have a three star Halloween pennant. My first attempt at making a three star failed. My second did work, so I do have it. Now, in terms of what I'm doing with the rest of them, I might very well be trying for another three star. My viewers have been telling me it's very strong, so I should do some testing. And that's what we're going to do here today. It is a little bit trying actually doing this because of the way they have things set up, but I think we can manage it. Uh, I will show you the procedure to begin with, but I think I'll probably just skip over it each time because it is time intensive. Oh, by the way, you'll notice that everybody is currently there because I'm just not sending them anywhere right now. As you can see, I have tons of resources and I have no reason to send them anywhere. Uh, the only thing I'm actually concerned about, of course, is the creature parts because, yeah, they keep getting stolen. I'm hoping that I can hold on to enough to get the next round. Let's see, hold it a second. Which will push me over the, um, the amount I need to do another upgrade. Let's go over here. By the way, um, yeah, they did stop increasing the percentage increases of fusion. So the, um, the three-star merger was a 57%, you know, around 50%. That's what it tells you. It tells you it's 57%. And as I said, my first one failed, my second one was successful. I don't think that I would try to get a four star. It really depends. We're going to have to see about that. Anyway, um, what I want to do here is let's just do the testing. So I hear that the Halloween pennant is actually very strong. So we're going to check that out. I think what we might do to begin with, do we want to, you know, I think we should just go right for the three star. I think that that would probably be a good idea. I was thinking, do I actually want to do testing with the one star? And I'm thinking, what point would that serve? Because nobody's really going to use it if they have a three star. So let's just start comparing him against others. Like, for instance, is he as tough as a scorpion? Now, it is important to remember that the special creatures, for instance, you know, the Halloween pennant, is actually supposedly the strength of a four-star creature. So maybe I should be putting it against the Ghost Mantis and the Christmas Spider because they're also three stars and they're also special creatures. But we could actually try it against a four-star Scorpion because I think that would be kind of close. I don't see a purpose in putting him against the three-star Dragonfly you know, maybe the one star against a dragonfly would be a good fight. Now, that's interesting. You know, I think that would be an interesting fight. It would be interesting because the Halloween pennant is supposedly the strength of a two star. But is he naturally more powerful than the dragonfly to the degree that he can actually beat them. I think that's a good fight to start with. Why don't we do that? All right, so like I said, this is a little bit on the convoluted side. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here. Uh, what I'm gonna have to do, all right, who am I leaving out? I'm leaving out, oh, I don't have him here. Okay, hold on a minute. Uh, let's just go back, let's just go back because I need to do a switch. Why don't we do this and this? Right, because I have to have him in there if I'm going to test him, right? All right, so I have the three-star dragonfly. All right, so let's go into the battle screen, and let's do a clear. All right, I'm going to put him in the middle. Everybody else is going to go into the queen's chamber. 
there is a bit of an issue with this, but I have um, I figured out a way to um, resolve it. All right, so everybody goes in here, and of course, all of the soldiers go in there. Now, the two problems with this is obviously the Venus flytrap. The more important one is the workers. So I have to do this kind of quickly because I do want to allocate some time for the battle. Uh, do I, oh, you know what I also don't have? Yeah, I don't have the one star available. Uh, okay, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Um, let's go back over here. I'm hoping that it will adapt to this. All right, rhinoceros beetle not required. Put him down there. All right, so let's see how this did this. Okay, but I do need him. Okay, why did that get pushed out? Wait a minute, what just happened? Okay, it just kind of reset everything there, didn't it? Okay, what is going on there? Okay, clear, clear. Okay, I just need to have that one available. I don't need to have that one in the stash. <laughs> this is, yeah, this whole system is really convoluted. All right, so let's just throw everybody now in here. I just need to have access to that one star Halloween pennant. I don't need to have it anywhere else. All right, because I need to be able to call upon it. All right, all you guys down here. And, oh, 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 get down there, get down there. All right, and we'll do this. And then we'll hit assign. I probably forgot to hit the assign button. That's probably what the problem was. All right, so we're going to jump in. We have to do this kind of quickly because, remember, we have a three-minute timer on us. All right, you guys, come with me. Because we need to kill this and we need to kill the workers. Kill that. All right, and then we kill the workers. Kill the workers, kill the workers, kill all the workers. Kill all the workers, kill those workers. The reason for that is because they can kill me. All right, let's pop in here. Kill more workers, kill more workers. Kill all the workers. All right, I have two minutes left. All right, I haven't seen the dragonfly yet. Where is it? Oh, there it is, right there. All right. Um, Okay, so you guys are disbanded, and no, no, not you, not you. Uh, we're going to go with you. All right, now I am invincible. Let's do this. Okay, don't go out. Okay, there, there they go. There they go. All right, that's what I'm looking for, the bar. Now, remember, the regular dragonfly is three stars. The um, Halloween pennant is one star, but it is supposedly the equivalent of a two star. But he has a lot more health. And he does seem to be winning. It's close, but the Halloween pennant one star does seem to be winning. It's very close, though. It could go either way. Ooh. Okay, but that was very close. And he was only a one star, too. So that basically just shows you if you have a Halloween pennant and it's even a two star, you don't need a dragonfly anymore. Oh, well, it's the four star dragonfly. But even then, I think it's close enough that you just don't even need it anymore. All right, so let's cancel this attack. Okay, so that was interesting. That's also the last time I intend to use the one star. All right. But fortunately, we don't have to do all kinds of crazy stuff anymore. Here, let's see. Now, I really wish I could just take somebody out of here because I would like to do... Yeah, I'd like to do the... Uh, can I take him out? No, I can't. Unfortunately, I have to do this again. All right. We're going to go right for the, uh, the scorpion. The four star scorpion. That's what we're going to do. All right. So I'm going to throw everybody else in here. 
Then we're going to do, I think that the Christmas spider might be a little bit tougher. We'll have to see about that. All right, everybody goes in here. And of course, so do the soldiers, right? All right, assign, and then let's go in. All right, quickly, let's get over here because we do have a timer on us. Okay. Wait a minute, those are soldiers. Why 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 are the why are the soldiers out here? Okay, hold it a minute, hold it a minute, hold it a minute, hold it a minute. Why why are the soldiers out here? I don't did I I messed up somewhere? I have them here. Why were they up above? I don't get that. That's very buggy. I don't know why that's a problem. Okay, now they're not there. I, I don't understand that. All right, so... Imagine that. There's bugs in this game. Okay, he's dead. All right, kill the workers. Oh, no, 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 not me. No, 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 no. Save me. Save me, my soldiers. Save me. Although technically they're mine too, you know what I mean? All right, kill all the workers. Kill all the workers. All right, now let's go in and kill all the workers. Okay, so where is he? Okay, so there is the... Um, okay, so disband, right? Okay, disband and you are born. All right, so now I am invincible. Come here, where are you? Okay, come on, come on, there you go. All right, come up here. Oh, wait, there we go. Right there, right there. Fight. Okay, so we have a four-star scorpion against a three-star Halloween pennant. Once again, it does seem to be a close fight. It makes me very curious about how the... Uh, the Christmas spider and the uh, the ghost mantis are going to do. The pennant does seem to be winning. Yes, he is definitely winning. If you look the uh, the the health of the uh, the four star is going down quicker. Yep, he's going to win. So he is stronger in a head-to-head -head battle against a four-star scorpion. He just went over for a quick meal. Okay, that's a, that was a good fight. It was close, but he was definitely stronger. All right. Now I want to do the, uh, the ghost mantis. That was the first special creature we got. I just get the feeling that the Christmas spider is stronger. Let's find out. Unfortunately, I have to do this again. All right, so who is our victim today? There he is. Everybody else goes in here. So we'll do this one, and then we'll do the, uh, the Christmas spider. Uh, we have Christmas spider goes in here. All right, so hopefully we don't have that problem with the soldiers, which was just weird. Okay, so assign, right? Put them all in there. Hit the assign button. So they should be down below, right? All right, so let's jump on in. I don't want to see the soldiers on the surface. That's a, a waste of my time here. All right, let's go. We have three minutes. Okay, good, good, good. All right, and get in there and kill that. All righty, it's dead. And speaking of it's dead, kill the workers. Kill all the workers.
All right, and then let's jump inside. Okay, he's a little bit on the close side. Okay, that could be a problem for me, really. I just want to kill the workers. All right. Where'd he go? Okay, there he goes. All right, that should do. Disband. All right, let's summon our little friend. And then let's make myself invincible. Come get some. Okay, right there. I'm hoping no workers come along in the meantime. Uh-oh. That's a problem for me. Okay, I'm still invincible. Okay, now I'm not. It just wore off. All right, so remember that the, uh, the Ghost Mantis, even though he's three stars, just like the, um, the Halloween Pennant, is counted as a four star in terms of power because he's a special one. He seems to be going down faster than the Scorpion, though. Maybe it's just his stats. It does seem to be an easier fight. I mean, it's still fairly close. And the one thing to remember about the Halloween pennant is it's going to pick its fights because it's going to fly until it's ready to attack something. So, you know, the thing about it is it's going to pick its situation, right? All right, that was about the same. I think maybe he has a little bit more health than when he fought the scorpion. All right, so let's exit because we have one more left. I, I just, for some reason, I do believe that the Christmas spider is stronger than the, um, the what's the name of it, than the, uh, the ghost mantis. That's just me. Let me just see something for a second here. Okay, so the ghost mantis. Health, attack rate, close. I think his attack rate is better, right? No, it's actually very similar to each other, aren't they? He is faster, but that just means for, like, leaping into the battle. You know what I mean? All right, so let's let's set this last battle up, right? All right, and we're going to do a clear, and we'll take our combatant for today over there, and then we'll just throw everybody else in here. All right. Oh, and get in there. It would be a lot easier if you can actually drag one out. It's just, uh, yeah, never seemed to be able to get that one to work. I got to remember to put that one star back. All right, and all the soldiers go there, and then I hit assign. And hopefully they're actually down where I assigned them to be. And then we can get on with the fight. All right, so let's take care of this uh, thingamabook over here, right? All right, and go get it. Whoops. I was holding a key for that. All right, just workers. Okay, so kill the workers. Kill all of the workers. Kill all the workers. Nobody interferes. There'll be some alive, but... Um, as long as they don't get in the way, right? All right, so let's get in here. Let's kill some of them. All right, because I need to save my invincibility, don't I? All right, and kill him too. Okay, we've got a couple more coming up here. Just kill them. Okay, we don't want to get the Christmas spider involved because he can leap and he might insta-kill me. All right, so disband. All right, here we go. Okay, don't come to me. All right, here we go. I'm invincible. Come here. Attack. There we go. All right, perfect position. All right, so let's see how the Halloween pennant does against the Christmas spider. It looks like the Halloween pennant got a head start there. He does seem to be winning. It seems comparable to the uh, the battle with the Ghost Mantis.
Yeah, he does seem to be winning. Okay, so what this means, if I get a second three-star of, um, of the Halloween pennant, I don't see trying to make a four-star out of him because it's already stronger than everything else. And why take a small percentage chance of actually losing that? I think he had a little bit more health left when he fought the Ghost Mantis, but that's comparable to the uh, Scorpion. Okay, we're done. And I have to remember to put everything back. People are stealing enough things from me. I don't need to help them. Okay, so that was kind of interesting. So let's just go into the army and take a look at the situation. The three-star, he defeated a four-star scorpion. He defeated the ghost mantis. And he defeated the uh, Christmas spider. Uh, the other two were interesting because, remember, they're specials as well. So they count as three stars. Pardon me. They count as four stars because they're three stars. But they were beaten by this guy. And, you know, it was a close fight, but it wasn't like down all the way to the wire. You know, it wasn't like a hair where one hit would do it one way or another. So if you have to make a choice, you're probably going to put the flyer in there because, I mean, he's tougher. And once again, he can pick his fights. Now, he can get snatched out of the air by the Venus flytrap because I've actually saw that. So one of the reasons I concentrated on killing it first is because I thought I could bypass it, you know, and just kill the workers. But I just saw him grab it while I was killing the workers in like a little test situation. So I'm like, nope, nope. First thing I do is I have to kill him. So that thing is still a problem. And it's, I think, one of the big problems with the game. But that's just my opinion. I'm going to have to remember to put my battle stuff back. Anyway, um, this time... A very good creature. We actually haven't gotten one in a while uh, because the previous one... Well, to be fair, I only have a one star of him, the uh, the festive beetle. Because of the way they did the event, I never got an opportunity for a second one. And before that, the monarch butterfly, unless they actually change it, it's virtually useless. I mean, on the surface, it follows you around, which means you have to stand among your fighting troops, which means you're going to die because they're going to attack you. And one thing it would be good for would be defense inside, except the healing effect doesn't work inside. So in my opinion, a useless creature. What do we have before that? Hold it a minute. Um, oh, that was the uh, bombardier. That was a special bombardier, I believe, that we had there, right? Hold it a minute. That one is actually pretty strong. Um, so that was actually a good one. And then we had the other ones which were good too. Um, the Ghost Mantis and the Christmas Spider. Um, yeah, the last, the last couple there, not so good there. Yeah, not so good at all. It is, at least it is showing me that I have the festive uh, Tiger Beetle now. It wasn't doing that before. So yeah, Monarch Butterfly, kind of a waste, unless they'd actually fixed it. Maybe they did in the meantime, but from when I play with it, it wasn't fixed. And the Festive, I only have a one star, so I really can't test with that. Not much of a purpose in that. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So hey, you know what? Get it. It's strong. I mean, if you want to take the shot of actually going for a four star, that's cool. But understand, the three star is pretty darn strong itself. So do you want to actually take the risk of not having a strong creature over the small chance of getting a really strong creature. I mean, if you can actually do it, you want to blow the gems for it, I mean, a four-star would probably be amazing. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.